Lung gang special. Differential equations. First one, dy by dx equals 2y plus 1. Now, in normal maths, how do we solve differential equations? The whole point is you want to get all the y's to one side and all the x's to the other side. But the only way to do this is by multiplication and division only. Okay, so you might be thinking, okay, how do I get this y to the side of the dy? I can just minus 2y. No, that would then be further maths where then you have to use integrating factors, but in normal maths, the only way to get the y's onto this side is through division. But I have a cheeky tactic here. First, multiply through by dx. Now, if you multiply through by dx, you'd get this. But that's technically not right because this technically says one dx. But when you multiply through by dx, you're multiplying this whole side by dx. You need a bracket here to protect the whole thing. So this then indicates that the only way to get this onto this side is we need to divide by the bracket. Remember, this is a multiply, right? So we divide by this, we'd get one over two y plus one dy is, and we'll just be left with one dx. Then we're gonna integrate both sides, okay? How do we integrate this? Well, you need to think what differentiates to fractions that's gonna be ln, okay? So we make a guess. We say my guess is that this integrates to ln of 2y plus 1. Then we differentiate it to check. To differentiate this, ln reciprocates this, so we get 2y plus 1. Differentiate this to go to the top is 2. So this integrates back to this, but there was no 2 here, so we need to half both sides. That's our answer. 1 just integrates to x. Now, another cheeky Neil does maths trick here, or tip, is when you integrate, you get the constant of integration. A lot of boogin people put plus c. When you have ln, don't put plus c. Put your constant of integration within the ln. The reason you can do that is you can split this up as being ln a plus ln of this. Ln of a is your constant of integration, okay? It's just going to make your lives a lot easier because I'm going to times through by 2, then I'm going to do e to the power of both sides. If you write plus c here, you're going to times by 2, you're going to have to redefine your plus c, and when you do e to the power of, you're going to have to break up the plus, and then you have to redefine e to the power of d, because you've redefined the plus c. That is just long. Here I don't have to redefine anything, I'm just doing e to the power of both sides. Beautiful. So I get a lots of 2y plus 1 is e to the power of 2x. Then we're going to divide through by a. Now a over here is a 1 over a over here, right? but one divided by an unknown constant is an unknown constant. So we don't write one over a, instead we write b. Yeah, we redefine it. Then we're gonna minus one and divide by two. y is b e to the power of two x minus one all over two. Beautiful, mate. Now with this one, we need to get all the y's on one side and all the x's again on the uh, right side. <laughs> okay, split this up. Guys, if you're enjoying today's video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button isn't it? and make sure you're subscribed. So, this times through by the dx. I mean, I guess you can times through by the dy, right? So, you can do this. This is like what you might do if you've not done very many of these, which I wouldn't expect you to have done uh, at the moment. Here, we don't even need any brackets. The next thing we need to think about is how are we going to get this y squared over to that side? Well, it's in the power. A negative power means division using our index rule. So we have y dy is e to the power of 2x divided by e to the y squared. And then we can multiply through by this. And then we've got all the y's on one side. And now we can integrate, okay? Now, how do we integrate this? We can make a cheeky guess. What I notice is that what's down here is the differential of what's up here, bar a constant. So my guess is that somebody has differentiated e to the power of y squared. Let's differentiate it and check. You differentiate the power, 2y, e differentiates to e, and the power stays the same. So that integrates this, okay? 
But we didn't want to integrate this, we just wanted this. We didn't want the two. So we're going to half both sides. Okay, that's done. So it's a half e to the y squared. Similar with this one, we're going to make our guess. My guess is that somebody differentiated e, because in general, e differentiates to e. But when you differentiate this, you get two e differentiates to e. Power stays the same, so that integrates back to this. But we didn't want the two, so we're going to half both sides. All right. So my answer is a half e, a half e to the y squared equals a half e to the 2x plus c. Now the next thing I'm going to do, remember we have the x and y to help us work out plus c. Now you can do it now. I actually think you might as well just times through by 2 because if you times through by 2, that would go, that would go, and you'd be left with 2c. But 2 times an unknown number is an unknown number. Just change it to like d. Now you would write that on a separate line. But anyway, this sub in x is 1, y is 1. When y is 1, you just get e, yeah, e to the power of 1. And here, you get what? e to the power of 2, isn't it? Plus d. So d is e minus e squared. And then we're done. So we have our final solution is e to the y squared is e to the power of 2x plus, I mean, if you want to be posh here and factorize out e, I don't know why you'd want to do that. I'm, I'm blaming on you guys. I'm saying, why would you want to do this? I, I wanted to do it, if I'm honest in it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that is uh, my solution, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, I'd appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. And if you're interested in my full maths courses, head to the description. There is a link for you there. I'll see you guys in the next video. Nice one, Mike. All right, mate, come on, it's done. Oh.